I also have a bajillion things to give back to you guys, so that's also a thing. So, here's answers for 1014. I'm going to give you your paper back in a second. Here, I'll zoom in a tiny bit more so our vision impaired friends can see. If you already turned in 1014, I have it. It's in this folder of ungraded stuff because I haven't graded anything since the 10th grade, I don't think, because I'm behind. So, guys, if you are one of the people that uses your plan book as, or uses math as your plan book, that's not going to work very well. Because probably tonight, during my super boring meeting, I have to be part of a bylaw meeting tonight, which is a bunch of legalese and, like, jargon I don't understand. I'm just there to say, like, yeah, sure, that sounds good. Um, literally, like, they just needed more people on the committee, and I kind of got strong-armed into being part of it. I'm going to update math. And for some of you, that's going to take your green button and turn it into a yellow or a red button. Probably not red, because I don't think there's that many things I haven't put in math. But, like, 10-1-1, 10-1-2, 10-1-3, 10-1-4. I don't think any of those are in math yet. Well, is 1-1 and 1-2. So, yeah, I mean, 3 and 4 might catch some of you guys. So, if you turned in 10-1-1 or 1-2 yesterday, I still need to grade it. Some stuff happened this morning I had to take care of. Didn't get a chance to grade. And last night, I just kind of gave up. I got too tired. I graded all my math 7 work, but what? I'm going to try to do it, like, right now after we get through grading homework and after I start showing you guys videos. No. That was not the stuff that I was expecting that. You, like, texted me and planned a time. Lily? Fifty-six. Well, first things first, we have to double-check. Did we? Is this MI Olympic planning time? Is this MI Olympic planning time? So, should I have to correct you talking about your flag in here? Make my job easier, not harder, guys. Come on. I, so, if this is any convincing, if you are ignoring me, the first video I want to show you is Math Jokes Explained. But they're jokes about binary, which if you don't understand binary, you don't know how to solve the back of this worksheet, which you don't need to. We're going to talk about the front of this worksheet. I would like you to try the back of it. It's kind of like an optional challenge. But I was getting jealous of Mr. Smith's classes often bringing me one of their worksheets and it having jokes on it. And I'm like, what the heck? I like jokes. So I got upset and I went and stole Mr. Smith's notebook, which he actually stole from me uh, because the old teacher, Mr. Tewart, when he retired, I took over for him. So technically this was mine. And then Mr. Smith... Uh, bar the, the teacher mantra is beg, borrow, and steal. Uh, steal doesn't, I mean, you know, I don't really steal things. I like my job, and I like having a job, so I don't want to go to jail. Uh, but, all right, 56. Volume of a sphere is 113.04. They're giving us the volume. So what we have to set up is that value, 113.04. That's equal to... 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we have to work it backwards. And I bet a lot of us maybe struggled with this because we have to do this in a really specific order. So if 113.04 equals pi r cubed, I'm going to do this work out here where I have some space. 113.04. What would I take care of first, the cube or the four-thirds? The four-thirds. Because if I try to take care of the cube first, I'm going to cube root four-thirds, and that's going to get messy as all get out. I could do it first. It's just a bad idea. So how do I get rid of four-thirds? No, it's multiplying. So we multiply by its reciprocal. So we multiply by three-fourths, and this we can put over a one. From there, guys, I'm not going to do all of this for you. From there, we would then have pi times radius cubed. Do you think the cube root of pi is a nice number? No. no. So next, we would divide by pi on both sides. And then my right side would now be reduced down to r cubed. How do I take care of something being cubed? No. And this is what I'm glad was pointed out to me this morning that some of us still don't know how to do in our calculator. The cube root 
is not three and then the square root button. That's three times the square root. The cube, so if I do like try to do that, it's, it's, it's bad. It is not the right answer. Cube root is hitting three and then using the X root the button. Second, second. The second of the carrot, if you have one of these calculators. If you have one of the fancy pants calculators, you have cube root in one of your menus. But this X root button, that is going to let us, whatever number we typed in ahead of it, that's going to be our root. So now I've got my three typed in. So I hit second, that button. I do not like how this calculator doesn't do anything with my three to make it look different. That's why I don't like these calculators as much as I used to, as I've done more and more math. But then cube root of 27, what should the cube root of 27 be? Three. Cube root is three and then the X root. Now, if you have one of the fancy calculators, it is not really hidden, but it is in the math menu. You can actually get to a cube root. If you give it a second, you'll be able to... So, like, if your parents are probably eventually going to buy you one of these, and if they can trust you with, like, an expensive piece of tech, like if you've never broken your phone or lost it or whatever, these calculators go on sale normally at the end of school years and at the beginning of school years, and they do a lot more. It wouldn't hurt to go ahead and buy one of these, but you're at the point with technology and computers, you may never actually have to buy one of these. They're really convenient. And like, I love a physical calculator. There's something just like, like visceral about like, I punch a thing into and I hit enter and I get that like, there's something about it that I like better than a computer, but it's up to you. All right, other questions about the homework. Who what? The rest, the, the, the rest of the answers. Um, I have a question. How is it? How is um? I when I typed in uh three times two, is that the third power? Three times two. Yeah. I guess. Why? No, you know what I meant. You're, you're doing the middle school thing and you're just making my job tougher. Please don't. Guys, I was not anticipating them wanting the screen and the speaker for foundation. So I frantically had to do that really fast to make that better. Me running around the room with an American flag was not planned. Like all of that was for you guys. Now I need you to do some stuff for me, which is just do what you're supposed to do. Don't do extra to make my job harder. That's just frustrating. Don't be a... I shouldn't say that. No, I was going to compare Gus to his brother, and that's not nice. People shouldn't compare people to their siblings. So be careful. In 58, this is x cubed times 2. Powers happen before multiplication. So you have to cube your x before you multiply by 2. So like one of the things that these calculators do that the other ones don't is I could go into my y equals and I could type in two times x to the second power, which your TI-30 cannot do this. But then I could actually go and make a table. And these are all my output values for that function that I just created. not as nicely. I mean, you might be able to, sure, that's, I'm not telling you no, because I'm more comfortable with this calculator at this point. You gotta go to Y equals to start. Hey, you can Google up all this stuff. There's a million videos about TI calculators, probably more than a million. All right, so that's 58. You probably did order of operations wrong. It's okay, it happens. 59, the, the Y axis is distance from Sarah's house. So guys, literally, this is like me over the summer. For real, and like some kids will come back in the phone and be like, did I see you on your bike? Yeah, probably. If you see a weird tall dude wearing like either a blue or a red bike jersey riding around on a bike that looks slightly too small. I bought it like that size, so I don't like the size that is like, I go on bike rides, then I take a break and I read a book and then I bike back home. <laughs> That's, I'm so excited for spring break, guys. Next week, the weather looks nice. Yes! No. 
I'm having a staycation. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get out on the river one day and kayak. I'm gonna try to bike up to uh, the Metro Park. That's about 15 miles north because I can bike there, disc golf, and then bike home. I feel like Zip Zone's nicer once the like trees have bloomed, but it's happening right now. So, Gus, other questions about homework? Uh, how do you write X on the calculator? The button that says X, T, uh, Theta, and N. It's right next to Alpha. Okay, so don't write Theta. Theta? What? Theta? Where did Theta come in? It's on, it, it's on this calculator. There's a button that says Alpha, which actually lets you type words. Because you can program formulas into this calculator, and you can like, you can type words. Spencer. Uh, I changed. Let's solve this. Together. I don't even know without solving it. Guys, I'll be honest. I can't just look at a math problem and be like, oh, the answer. I have to actually like think about it. Who would have thought? So, Sherry can fill lemonade cups in a degree of four cups. Four cups. Every one minute. So, if we're trying to make a function that is an output of cups, so either we could do C equals or T equals. So, I'm going to do cups equal. I'm going to teach you guys how to write function notation. This is a function. This is function C with an independent variable of T. Same thing as writing Y equals, except now we're specifying what variables am I actually using. So instead of Y and X, I'm using C and T. So how many cups will I get when the input is minutes for T? Well, we know it's four for every one minute, which we're saying is T. So you could either say C of T or C, you could just say C equals 4T, or you could say T equals C divided by four. The time will be the amount of cups divided by four, because up here, if I take the amount of cups divided by four, now it equals my time. So either C equals 4T, now this I could also write as T of C if I want to write it in function notation. This second function is not as nice as the first one. We normally use time as the like independent variable. Time is normally our X. Time is normally our X axis. Max, are you okay? Sorry, you're wiping your eyes. Are you all right? I can't tell if you got something. If you have something in your eyes, go to the nurse. Do not wipe it. Like. It's way better to wash it out than like try to wipe it with our fingers. That only makes it worse. Okay. Okay. Well, don't make it worse, right? All right. Other questions. That's not what I'm talking about. Actually, we may not watch that one because I found better ones that made me like laugh out loud in a room by myself. Like here while you guys were out in foundations. All right, so I got to pause the video because the other content I do not own. Here's the, well, I'll give you the rundown first. If you owe me anything from chapter 10, that means 10-1-1 up through 10-1-5. That's your high priority today. And I don't mean, is it in map? I mean, have you turned it in? Because map is not your plan book. If you're done with all of that, you are welcome to work on the front of this worksheet and try to figure out what you would give to somebody who buys a house with no water. Or the back of it gets into some binomial. Actually, there's some math art type stuff at the bottom of it where based off a of binomial code, we're, we're like essentially doodling inside those boxes However, we don't understand binary, well, most of us probably. So I wanna show you a video that explains counting in non-base 10 number systems. So, hold up. 
now time to pause the video because I got to decide if, if you guys are going to be mature enough or not.